I continue to uh, get closer to uh, finishing uh, reading all of Wade and uh, this last week I uh, worked on section 12.1 problems now uh, R to the N integration in the case of uh, Wade it is done using uh, Jordan regions and so it's its own way of doing it. Uh, when you go into a vector calculus book they're never going to talk about Jordan regions uh, and so while I was able further later into the chapter I was able to take whatever integrals are being worked on and go back to a vector calculus book and understand uh, a simpler way of s seeing things. Uh, this material actually I'm kind of a hostage if you will to Wade uh, when I look through other books, there's just very little uh, mention of Jordan, Jordan Mesher, Jordan Curve, Jordan anything. And so uh, that's, that's what it has made uh, working on Section 12.1 problems a bit of a struggle. Uh, but I feel like I'm making progress. I did at least one problem where I feel like I did it correctly. Um, and then in the case of the reading... I am well into the uh, Fourier series chapter uh, and once again you know because it's an analysis book it's not an engineering book uh, the uh, reliance on kernels the Dirichlet kernel and the Fajer uh, kernel is different than you would find in an engineering book but it's it's also just as with R to the N integration there's a lot about Fourier series out there, so it's it's and actually it's easier. I find chapter 14 reading to be easier than I did chapter 12 reading, just because I'd never heard of a Jordan region. I had never heard of a kernel either, but I've done enough with Fourier series where I can kind of I kind of get what we're doing. Yeah. So then, uh, if I look at my progress uh, this week, I uh, read into. Uh, section 14.1 so I'm really down the very end the last three weeks of reading for the book uh, and I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it but I think I'm probably gonna do the same thing that I did for chapter 11 where I'll slow down the reading and do more problems just so I can clear 12 which is a very large very long chapter so yeah we're getting down to the very end of, of uh, wait I only have a really tiny appendix to read and then finishing up chapters 14 and 15 and then we're done for the reading. So I read these three sections right here. So finished off chapter 13, began on chapter 14. For problems, did very few problems. Again, with Jordan, uh, Jordan uh, region uh, problems, it takes a while for me to, to do them just because it's so it's such a foreign concept to me. So uh, when I started doing these very simple, they're actually very simple, Jordan region problems, I got, I got some of them before looking at the answer, but some of them I did not. So I, I actually had to look at the answer and then say, oh, that's what I'm supposed to be doing, uh, which is a shame. Uh, but again, this is material that's not found uh, that often in analysis books. So it's kind of like, it is what it is. Uh, so yeah, I did a fair amount of work on it, but this is not to my standards for sure. Uh, because I, for example, these solutions, I only figured them out after I looked at the answer. Even though I, I figured out what the answer should be for the, uh, what would be called the upper sum. Like for example, I knew that this one had to exclude only these four little uh, squares. So I got the upper volumes right, but the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the inner volumes wrong. I actually figured this out just by looking at it after looking at the answer. Now what I'd like to do. Uh, then continued working on the second problem, proof. Uh, I moved on. I didn't really get it. But I think the third problem, I think I did it correctly. I think I did this proof correctly. And since I feel like I did, I put my little square. So yeah, it's all about taking a, a Jordan region and translating it. And so when you translate it, you can show by the geometry of the uh, Jordan region 
that all you're doing is adding the same distance to every point. And so it's the rectangle has the same area, same volume. It should be volume. And since it has the same volume, it's identical. So it's also a Jordan region. And then when you uh, scale a Jordan region by a factor alpha, uh, that alpha is alpha to the n because each dimension gets its own alpha. And then you can, you can show in the proof that you're altering the dimensions of the rectangle, but you can still prove that it is a Jordan region because all you're doing is just scaling. And so you're still, you're preserving the properties of the Jordan region. So I, got, I think I got that okay. Uh, but then uh, I started working on problem four and it's, I did okay, but I'm gonna move on. I, I think, I, I like the fact that I was able to do this one. And so that's been my progress. A lot of reading, but I'm gonna wait until I complete all of chapter 12 problems to add chapter 13 reading.